Thanks for clicking to watch my video. Uh, I'm going to make artist trading cards in this video. So stick around all the way to the end to see what I do with all of these artist trading cards. If you're new here, please hit the subscribe button for me uh, so you don't miss out on future videos. And if you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, that will help YouTube know to put it to the top of the search results when anybody searches for something like artist trading cards. So my method for doing these artist trading cards was to um, take a large sheet of paper. By the way, artist trading cards, for those of y'all that don't know, are uh, two and a half by three and a half inches, um, just about the size of a playing card that artists make uh, with their own work of art on it and they trade it with other artists or give it away to friends and so my method for doing this as a way of making several at one time I paint the entire piece of paper and so what you see me doing here is using a gift card to paint over uh, some paper that I have um, taped off uh, little stripes on my idea in the end was that I would have these uh, various colors of stripes blue green red yellow and so on when I was done what I had was very I don't know kind of rainbow looking and I really didn't like it very much which you'll see how I f you'll see how I fix that in a little bit um, I also wanted something a little bit more objective in here rather than just a straight um, abstract painting so I got these keys and after spraying the um, paper black, I then laid the keys all over it and spray painted it silver. And now I'm taking all of the tape off of it. And what I'm left with was, well, kind of a picture that I didn't really like. So I'm um, now adding more keys. And in between all of the other silver areas that I painted. So I'm masking off places that I don't want to get black spray paint on. Putting keys down spray painting it and then moving the paper to the next area and that way I end up with um, sort of stripes of black that covers up a lot of the rainbow looking uh, stripes that I had made uh, originally uh, so basically that's me covering up my mistakes uh, the key here no pun intended is to just continue adding and adding and adding until you have the look that you want uh, this is pretty much how we do a lot of art. You know, we we start working on it. We may have something in mind, um, and then we decide we don't like it. So we work over it. Don't throw your artwork away. Never throw your artwork away, um, or almost never. Just add stuff to it. Continue adding medium to it. So here I kind of thought I was done, and so I decided to cut it out and uh, separate all the trading cards. So I uh, I cut it cut each one of them um, into sections each card is three and a half by two and a half and uh, when I was done I eventually came back and drew on top of them some keys I drew I traced some of the keys I drew some key, uh, pencils and coffee mugs here they are not finished but I thought I was finished <laughs> anyway um, after I did that I decided to put a QR code on the back of each card so that um, when I gave them away uh, people could find them and then they could find uh, my YouTube channel so here I am on the internet and I looked up free QR code generator and I created one for the YouTube channel youtube.com slash the art project I printed them out nine to a page and then I cut those uh, those out it would be really good if I had put them on sticker paper uh, you can print them on uh, on sticker paper which you can buy at the store and that would be good but I didn't have any of that so I just cut them out separately and then used uh, stick glue to glue them down so when I was done I had cards uh, artist trading cards with my QR code symbol on the back of it so you can scan the code with your phone and it will take you to my YouTube channel now I didn't put any information on how to do that so um, banking on people knowing how to do that and if they don't know how to do it well I guess my card will probably be lost forever because after drawing these little individual pictures on here like coffee mugs and pens and pencils and and so on uh, me and a friend of mine took a lot of them to Hobby Lobby and we just hid a bunch of them around Hobby Lobby 
uh, also hid a bunch in a Goodwill store here in town. And then I gave the rest of them to a friend of mine who was doing some traveling and asked her to hide them uh, on her travels. So uh, I have no idea where all of these cards went. In fact, I almost forgot to take pictures of the final product. So uh, these four or five cards that you're seeing now, those are the only ones I could get pictures of. And so here I am at Hobby Lobby and I'm going to hide them. And I put, uh, like I said, I, I put some behind some paintings and a friend of mine put some in some shoes. <clears throat> but Hobby Lobby seemed like the ideal place to hide it because, um, well, people who go to Hobby Lobby, I think, have an appreciation for art. So and if they buy paintings like this one, probably have an appreciation for art. So uh, we hid them in shoes and purses and packages and drawers all over the store. Uh, when we were done with this, um, I went to Goodwill and I hid a few in books and I hid a few behind some paintings and I just kind of got rid of them. Anyway, uh, it was a lot of fun. It took me longer to do this than I expected it to, uh, but I had a good time. So if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Maybe try this with your students at school. Try it at home um, and show us the results. And until next time, have a great day.